if you can see water coming in to coming across your um, evaporator coil, please we know. Okay, if it's switches on in ice making position, you will check <coughs> if we have water in this sump. If we do have water in the reservoir, check if the pump is um, running. If it in, check see if you're getting power to the pump. These pump they have a little plug on the side. You just pull the plug and check for power there. It should have power in the ice making um, mode. There are times when these pumps they just seize up. You need to give it a push start and it ready to go. Do not oil these pump or spray WD forty or any. Anything. If you suspect the pump is bad, buy a new one. Because if you put WD-40, that's in the ice making section. That's in the water that you're actually making ice with. So you don't want oil or uh, WD-40 getting in there. So um, that would be water pump problem with no ice production. And you will see that. Sometimes these pumps run pretty slow. Or sometimes um, what would happen there, there is, on these machines, the one that you see in the lab, something we call a dump valve. It's a valve that energizes at the end of the ice making cycle to flush the system. All right? So if that valve is stuck open with some kind of debris or something, it's going to be pumping the water out. So my pump may be running but it's pumping water out instead of on top of the evaporator coil. So those are a couple of the things you check for water. If you don't have, the pump is running but you don't have water in the, um, in the reservoir, check your water intake valve or fill valve. They, they call it fill valve. Uh, the manufacturers actually call it fill valves, water fill valves. Because in those valves, there is a screen and the screen can get blocked up with anything that bypasses your filter. And it restricts the amount of water that comes into the machine. So you need to check the screen on that, or you, if you have a pressure gauge, it should read it above um, 20 <coughs> piece. Okay. Anything under 20 is like about no, no, because they're not going to Do they use pressure reducers for the water feeding coming in, or no. do they just what? straight pressure? If, if your pressure is above 80 PSI, you need to reduce it. But if it's 80 PSI and below, oh my. but above 20, right. you don't need pressure regulators. Okay. So, um, see, one of the reason is this because some of these water supply tubings are actually plastic tubing. Mm -hmm. So you don't want them popping out. And I think I had that happen already, and it just flooded the whole place out. Lucky they had some decent rain. So defrost problems is, um, if we go into a defrost, if defrost is initiated, we're supposed to open the hot gas valve to pump hot gas into the evaporator coil. If that, if that solenoid is defective, there's no way we can have um, hot gas going there. So the ice stays, even though the machine is in harvest, it cannot harvest, so the machine goes back into its ice making and safety. It will kick in back into, after three and a half minutes maximum, it goes back into ice making um, mode. Because all ice machines out there have a three and a half minute setting to stay in harvest. So that's in order that the evaporator coil or the evaporator uh, plate does not get scorched. You do not want the coat in the nickel coating and that to get scorch. Now, there are times the older machines, it used to, when it goes into harvest and harvest ice, and if something wrong and it's stuck in that harvest condition, the machine used to run in harvest mode all the time and it gets red hot, you wouldn't get any ice coming out of it. But they stop that now, because remember I just told you they put a three and a half minutes delay. I mean, maximum time to stay into that, and that's to protect the, the evaporator. 
because one of those evaporators, the smallest, for let's say a 250 pounder, is about 1600 bucks. So you don't really want to have to go tell your customer they need to change that. So there are times if I have harvest problem. If the harvest is not terminating when it should, and the machine is have to change back into ice making mode on its own and its default, it's going to do that for three successive periods will put itself into harvest after each hour. And if it cannot see the itself going into the harvest after those three tries, it doesn't it's, open and close. It'll right. shut down. Right. It's going to shut down. All right. So it's going to, that's telling you that here, I did not make any ice. So when you go to the machine, chances are either did not make any ice or it made too much of ice and the ice is stuck onto the onto the evaporator. And there are times the ice can build up on the evaporator and kind of push the <coughs> cordon away. And when that happens, it shuts down the machine because it, when the cordon is open, the machine figures that it's, the bin is filled. So, and, the, and all of these things you can actually do a visual check and it will point you directly into the, 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 at the point of problem. So, you know, the, the electrical part of this is pretty much the easiest part of this machine to fix. So long as you know the circuit and you can read a decent diagram. Overheating a power cord, that rarely happens. It will happen if I go into a constant low voltage situation. Because if I have low voltage, what happens to my current? It goes up. No, 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 no. Sure, if you do V equal IR, your current is supposed to go up, right? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> if you do the math, your current is supposed to go down. Do some mental calculations. If V over um, R equal to I and you increase V, I mean if you decrease V, then I decreases, right? But in this case, on the voltage, low voltage means increased current. And here is how. On normal circumstances, V equal I R. So V over R equal I. If this is 100 and this is 10, then I equal 10, right? Yeah. If this is 90, that is 10, I equal 9 decreases. Well, look at this. P equal V I. P is, um, let's say, 500 watts, right? Over V, which is 100 volts, equal 5, right? 5 amps. Mm -hmm. If I go to 50 volts, right? 500 over 50. What happens here? I, I go to 10. So low voltage cause increased current. The increased current will overload your cord. Right. The higher the voltage, the lower the amps. And the higher the lower voltage, the lower the amps. The higher voltage will burn out your cord too because your cord may not be rated for that voltage range. So, you know. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's... Nobody, who would have thought for Contradicts that? what the, we were taught. You had to learn something, you know, about current and low current and voltage. Here's the deal. Both, both of those statements are true. Because V equal IR is applicable to DC circuits only with pure resistance. PV, take into account that you have an inductive circuit. And your, your reference is the power, not resistance. Power. 
So Owen was right, but the other guy was right too. Mr. James Watt. I was right. <laughs> so, so as you get, um, as voltage drops, and what's the percentage range we normally allow the voltages? You can remember? It's 120 plus or minus what percent? All right. Be Anything below 10% and above 10% is out of range. Shut down your machine until you can get the right voltage. Get but otherwise, it'll vary. Yes. That 10%. Yeah, and the machine can work from 90 volts. Some machines, they actually write it down that it works from 90 to, to 130 or yeah. somewhere there is about. All right? So, um, Okay, there's a summary. Let me see how much summary it has. I'll come back to this, okay? Give me a sec. Okay. So for regular um, cube ice machines, we have a definite ice making um, cycle and a harvest cycle. Flake ice machine is continuous harvest. And water level conductivity probe is a probe that um like the low level probe on a boiler. Low water level. Mm -hmm. Same idea. And um what the heck is that? prevent most of the problem we have with um, in the water circuit, these machines flush, flush themselves after every harvest or after every ice making cycle, after every batch of ice is made, flushes out the water that's remaining because that's concentrated crap. That's a new word, concentrated crap. Yeah, sounds good. And the difference between a regular uh, cube ice machine and the flake ice, the flake ice only flushes itself when the machine <coughs> restarts after the shutdown. It could be automatic shutdown or it could be um, manually shut down by the owner or some, somebody took it out to service for a while. Because the tech, ideally, you should take these things out to um, service like to clean the bin, they should clean it, I would say, every three months. Depends on who uses it. Yeah. And location too. Because if you have, I have seen ice machines outdoor, and flies and bugs and little creepy crawly things get inside the bin. You don't want that to be floating in your customer's um, highball. <laughs> And then drive my team. Yeah. Yeah, so 
I mean, if you if you blend it and crush it, yes, and they will see it. But and they taste of the alcohol will cover it. In the bombs love the water. Yeah. They love the water. They they're they're like, yeah. Water, they love yeah, they love the water. Yeah, they awesome. love the water, so. Um, Conductivity probe on water sensor. Mm -hmm. They work on the principle. The what they do is complete a water electrical circuit, circuit. Mm -hmm. to, the, to indicate whether the water is at the right level. But sometimes I do. Um, I do like the whole time thing. You know, you can actually operate it by hand and see what it's doing. Uh -huh. But these you can't operate. It's either. Either it's good or it's bad. So you you know you, you don't have much you don't have any way of really repairing them. They go bad you you throw it away. Because there's nothing you can recycle anymore. I mean there is thing you can recycle, but you ain't gonna get money to take it to the recycle place. So most people prefer to have. So how would you test that? What this? Yeah. The water well, hey, the if the water isn't coming in or if it's overflowing, it's yeah, that's it. You can actually go to the board where it's plugged in and jump for it. And if it operates, it means it's right. That's the one advantage they give you. You can go to the board and jump, jump in the two out. terminals mm -hmm. where the two wires go in. And that's, that would indicate Bad sensor. Bad sensor. If, if the system works, when you do that, it indicates the sensor is bad. So, um, normally I just store in bins, and there is a couple of ways that they detect when the bin is filled. Because you need to shut off that ice maker when it's filled anyhow. One of them is by having a bin, what we call a bin thermostat which is just a regular thermostat in the ice bin, it is set to cut out at 40 degrees and kick it back like 45 degrees. There's a five degree swing on it. The other is by, um, we call that thing, by infrared. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, photo, sensors, photo cell, like photo that. cell sensors that has a, a, um, Receiver transmitter. As soon as it stops getting the readout yeah, it, back, it's, from the it sees an um, infrared beam, and as soon as the beam is broken, it, it indicates that the bin has enough ice, because only the ice will broke, break that. Then you have the the um, the solar style, which looks down to the bin, and it measures the the distance from that to the top of the ice. Remember that? It does not measure the level of the ice in the bin, it measures from where it is sitting to the top of the ice that's in there. And as the ice come up and it determines that, hey, I need to maintain two feet from me or 12 inches from me, that's shut where it's it gonna down. shut down the system. And as soon as you knock down that little piece, mm -hmm. even it's one inch below, then it's gonna start back the machine. So pressure controls, oh, harvesting, hot gas harvesting, nothing else. This, the shape of your um, evaporator cells determine the shape of the ice, ice cubes. All right, you have a um, crescent shape, you have dice, dice, half dice. Cylinder. Um, Cylinder. Cylindrical cup shape. Um, you guys remember the one here that they showed you with the little cup, <coughs> the spring, right? With yeah. the what? With the cup, the upside down cups yeah. and the water spray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I do not see a lot of those machines around anymore. 
not to say that there's probably not a few out there, there's still, the technology still exists. You're not gonna see them in big commercial machines. You're gonna see them in the small home on the counter ice makers. All right, because in order to add, get that, they used to have a, what we call an oscillating spray bar. <coughs> that oscillates like this to spray in all the cups. Yeah, like a yeah, um, oscillate. Like yes, like the lawn sprinklers. Yeah. But what happens, those spray bars, water is pumped through the center, and at each end, there's bushing so that it can move smoothly, and then there's O-rings to prevent the water from coming back out to the system because it is moving. Right. So we always used to have problem with that O-ring because they're regular rubber O-ring. They're drying and out. No, now they're drying out. After a while it get worn out okay. and then it kind of rolls <coughs> on itself. It binds on itself because it's worn out so bad and it's moving, it's, it's moving now. It's, it has too much to play. And water used to spray back into the sides of the machine and down into the well, floor. Yeah. Not, not only the eyes alone, because it used to melt the ice and it used to spray on the floor. Oh, so bad. you don't see much of those. The ones in the home, the reason why they do the one in the home is because now they have two spray nozzles at the bottom that covers like a 10 of those little um, cups. cups. And that two spray, that they don't have to move. They're stationary and spray the way they spray, they spray right up into and cover all 10. So there's enough to satisfy your homeowners um, they, I mean, they're not, when you buy one of those for your home, it's not for you to have a big party if you're inviting a hundred people. Okay, it's for your daily use, mm -hmm. to mix one or two high balls when you go home, put your foot up on the <laughs> chair, uh -huh. and you yeah, sit yeah, back you there. Just you know. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those were my days. Yeah. Uh -huh. high balls, right? Yeah, come on, I used to have that come to me, I used to have a chef cook for me. Yeah. Ooh. Whatever I want to eat, I say, hey, you know, I feel like eating a whole row of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't get that shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. You had it right there, huh? right? <laughs> that was like. Yeah, what happened? What happened? What happened? Yeah, what happened? You see, I was so dumb I came here to greet what I thought was green and bastards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I came to the pasture, all right, but they're doing for a thing, green. <laughs> so, I would have stuck with that. Yeah. So these ice machine guys, they have had pressure, high pressure controls, low pressure control. They have a little bit more safety than um, other refrigeration, commercial refrigeration system. And the one thing with these two, the condenser fan, always cycles on and off to maintain desired condenser saturation pressure. Regardless whether it's summer, winter, fall, spring, that cycles on and off to maintain. If it's hot enough, it does not cycle as often. Okay? And the condenser fan, whenever these, and this question is gonna be on your final, so just make a note of it. Whenever these machines go into harvest, automatically, once the hot gas valve opens to pump that hot gas into the evaporator, the fan, the condenser fan shuts down. Okay? If it continues running in a self-contained machine, some, the, the pressure control, the fan cycle control is bad. You need to address that because then you will be cooling down hot gas that was supposed to go into the evaporator so you're not gonna harvest the ice because the gas cool. is practically the same temperature so as the um, ice. So it's not gonna drop the ice. All right. So those are some of the little things you need to bear in mind when you go on these cars. And like I said, ice, ice machine, guys, they're simple to work on. So if you know how they're supposed to work. Very simple. And all you do is address, address your water problems first, and then electrical problem, if you suspect that. But concentrate on those two first before you even think about touching the... Gauges. No, not the gauges. 
if, before you even think about trying to figure out what, if your problem is in the refrigeration side, who does the other two first? And like I said, if it's a, um, if you can, you cannot, or you should not be overcharged on refrigerant because the system was working all the time. You can be on the charge because, and if you are on the charge or low on charge, it's a leak. You need to locate the leak because ice machines are critically charged. And the moment you begin to lose 10% of your charge, you're losing 50% of your ice production capacity. So you you be you will make ice, but the ice making period will be longer. Right, so it'll be about an hour yeah. instead of twenty minutes. Right, it's going to be close to the hour. And be less ice. And less well, is it less ice will like um, build up in the bin anyhow because you're taking twice as long to make a batch of ice. So you'll notice it by the yeah you, the the um, the owner will notice it, especially if it's a busy bar, yeah. and they need to take ice out twice a day. And one of the things is. These guys will empty the ice bin and wait like 10 hours before they call you and tell you my bin is empty. When you go fix the machine and it drops the first batch of ice, they will go and take out the ice and say, hey, the machine ain't working properly. It ain't got enough ice. Who you ask for? It's got to go allow overnight to fill. Uh -huh. yeah. So they take that first batch that you drop and they, and they it say, away. Oh, yes, and they say, oh, the machine ain't making ice fast enough. Who oh, cares? Okay, this make an ice and you got it. Oh, that's, that's what you tell them, go to the yeah. store and buy a couple of bags. And sometimes the people who tell you that, right, they're the managers of a store. They're supposed to be smart. <laughs> <laughs> they're supposed to have common sense, but you know common sense is lacking common. in everybody. Yeah. 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 It ain't common anymore. Yeah. No. There was a time when it was common. Yeah. 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 Common, sense went out. common sense went out with the cell phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the yeah. cell phones came into uh, existence. Yeah. Whoever would have taught you to get a cell phone that's smarter than the person using it. Yeah. And spying on it. Yeah. So anyhow, microprocessors, fine, we know microprocessors are being used wholesale in the ice machines now. Uh, and they're getting like wicked smart now. Some of these ice makers have TVs in it. Yep. Some of them are... Um, the girls that go with your TV, your fridge or the TV. I would never get one, ever. <laughs> what, the TV or the fridge? Or the no, TV? the TV with a, a refrigerator with a TV or an ice maker with a TV. Oh, no, they, they do have refrigerators right now, we'll tell you. We'll print out a list of what you need to restock your refrigerator with. Yeah? Yes. And they do the same with the vendor machines. Well, that's machine. good that I don't have because yeah. I'd be telling so, me I need everything. <laughs> Cylindrical ice, we did a demo of that. Um, ice quality, well, if you have good quality water, you have good quality ice. Sanitizing, help eliminate bacteria, hopefully virus. Because guys, you know you're, there's no cure for virus. You can cure, you can get rid of bacteria, you can never get rid of a virus infection. Yeah. So be careful. Protozoas. Anybody ever remember what that word is? Nope. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. They're algae. Okay. Water, water, and yeah, in like the presence of um, crap, algae grows. It's a plant life. Microscopic plant life that right. grows like amoeba. It's the amoeba of the plant world. So, cleaning solutions. They are acid base very, very mild. That does not mean you try to taste it or get it on your skin. It will irritate the heck out of your skin if you get it. If you get this filled in your eyes, guys, I suggest you wash your fresh water for as long as possible and go to I got to like right away. Because you are, it is going to affect you permanently if you do not address it. So don't take it for granted. Use gloves. Because some people are very sensitive to pH levels, and if you are, <coughs> use rubber gloves for these. Preferably the elbow thing, and use goggles. I know, I know. <laughs> so, water-related problem, 
it's more it's a lot more than 75 but you know if you if you take all the technicians complain and put them together you probably will get into this ballpark but the reason why out on Long Island we have so many more water related problems than this national average is because the water here is of varying quality and there are some districts they, don't get me wrong the water tastes good like but it's because of the amount of crap in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Which one, like spring water and stuff like that? Which spring water? No, you're saying it tastes <coughs> There ain't no true spring water selling. <laughs> <laughs> they take the water from the tap, pass yeah, it to a couple of filters, bottle. and put the spring on the freaking bottle. <laughs> no, no, no. They told me that it was. It's coming from underground spring. Like you said, they told yes. you. <laughs> you said, they told you. <laughs> it is. The water that's coming from a tap is coming from an underground spring. So technically, the people who bottle the water are right. They're going to take that same water and purify it. So technically, they're right, but they're not the one who's bringing it up from a spring, and it's not pure spring water. It's treated. Yeah, they treat that's why I hate the because boiling it's water. mixed with all that crap coming out from the South Bay. When they have to shut down beaches after every shower. We've got the ground tide. It's coming this year. Yeah. That's why the water in our tastes so good because that crap in the bay. Is that sure. crap good for you? How oh, about Bergen Street where yeah. they dump all the sense yeah, you're not <laughs> It's good for some of us. <coughs> Some of us get smart, some stay dumb. How come the sets put the, 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 the Bergen Street in Babylon? You know, where, where the, all the cesspool trucks go to dump the fucking shit? Yeah, you see, that's why they don't want spillage too. Because you realize all the hotels that they have out here on Long Island, they have, their, they have to have their own sewage treatment plan. And then treat that to whatever specifications, the EPA and DEC and what have you, want them to treat it to before they pump it into the um, disposal system. Not regular thing, they have to pump it into the sewer system, like how you flush your bathroom or toilet. Then they have to treat it before they dump it there. They do not want fresh water, I mean that in the fresh water system. And they do not want fresh water in the sewer system. It's no good. Oh, the reviewing shit. That sounds like it's no Fresh water in the sewage system will work. Did you finish your first one? Yeah. You finish your this? Yeah. So I speak a problem water related, refrigerant related, mechanical related, and if you bother with that, you're going to go nuts. So don't bother with it, just go fix the machine. All right? When you get to the machine, guys, then you see what's wrong. And chances are, before you uh, before you have to think too much, the, the problem is just looking at you when you open the front cover. Uh, yeah, I've you know I've seen a lot of those. You open the front cover, and there you're looking at the problem. Okay. There's a lot of time. My problem is the the the, the, the curtain, right? The water curtain. For some reason, it drop off the clip here, and it's hanging. Like this. So the magnet in sense is not sensing the switch there. The switch is sensing the magnet. So the magnet cannot close the closed circuit. And it's why it shut down. Yes, so the machine shut down. The reason why you need that curtain is because as the water flows down, if you don't have a curtain, it spills into the ice. Right, yeah, you were saying that. And you're going to lose it. They are those because they they're batch makers. There's no way it's gonna refill in the middle of a cycle. Right? Why it's gonna tell the machine because it's losing water is that I have ice here, but you have no ice. Mm -hmm. So refrigerant problem. If you have a Can you turn on the light for me for a second? Yeah. 
Yeah. You guys should be able to see, right? Mm -hmm. I can't see. I can't see anything else. Right. Too bright. Is too bright your right hand? Oh. No, 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 no. I thought you meant like if I could see that. Guys, on the 29th of this month, they're doing EPA. For those of you guys who want to sign up, can you sign up this year if you want to sign up and do it? Sign this year. You need to take the test, right? Wait, anybody? Yeah, is that good? Anybody? Oh, anybody can take it any it's because we have a couple of graduates. Yeah. So you've been moving. You've been moving. That's, that's all the way. Everybody, come on, guys. Get out of the school one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't need fucking in. You want to get out? I'm just taking it. It's easy. You ain't here. Sucker talking over there, instructing me, right? What the fuck is this? Bullshit, because I can take the whole test online. I'm taking it. I'm doing that. You can't take the whole test online. Or you can take it online. Yo, you know, I've been doing a lot of this on before. I did, I took it. Oh, but, uh, oh, you oh, can't oh, take oh, the oh. whole test online. You can't take two and three online. Oh, take one. I got one, yeah. Okay. You can't take yeah, one, the oh. corner. You can get the website, right? <coughs> I got the EPA. What's the website? Part of my class. Oh, what's the website? It needs to constantly change questions and answers. Different questions all the time. They take it into Saturday. Yo, what's the website? You need to take the course. You need to take the course. You need to take the course. Need to be proctored. Yeah. Yo, what's the website? Mainstream. Mainstream. No, it's not. It's S. They changed it to ESCO. That's he's asking where I got mine. I know, but he said the website where they're, they're studying from now is the ESCO one. No, but he he's actually going to his. Oh, right. no, right. Mainstream. Mainstream engineering. All right. That's If you said if you take the, in order to take the two and three now, you have to what? You have to do, you have to, you have to go to somewhere, but you have to go somewhere to take it, right? I take it right here. Right here, once it's brought to. That's it. Once it's brought I just got it, so I can buy gas. How many questions do you have on that? It's 25 of 24, 25 of 41. That's yeah, it. It's 25. It costs money. Now he's going to take it to Saturday. He's going to study. Everything is money, money, money. Now I'm going to take it to Saturday. Everything is money, money, money. I'm going to take it to Saturday. I'm going to take it to Saturday. How many guys here are graduating in this class? We graduate. The majority of us graduate in uh, oh, We have two more. I don't know. 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 They have it, bro. We gotta sit back on Tuesday. Right, who's on your last money? You are. You want to? You have to stay at school. What about people in the hospital? It's like five or six years. Do what you're saying, bro. Okay. Okay. Maybe you are. Okay. That's what I'm saying. What do you suggest they do? Since you can't sit back on Tuesday. Last month, the first half, you can do the second half. You go review from what you said. At the end of the day, if you don't pass it, you can't get the shirt. 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 Uh, <laughs> 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 